back with some more of this. So, all right, let's do it, guys. guys. In the last episode, I don't remember exactly what we were doing. I know we did like a few, little bit of grinding and everything, but I think basically what we want to do at this point is um, kind of try to move on with the story. We did register a couple people from what I remember, uh, but I think we want to head over to the other side of the map. I think we need to find Ishizu maybe two or three more times. I'm pretty sure we found her once, right? But uh, anyway, <laughs> in the morning, you usually won't find the people you're looking for. So for now, let's just relax and get into a few duels. Let's just go ahead and duel this person. Rex Raptor. All right, let's do it. I miss it. Kill Red Eyes. I get semi-finals from last tournament. I'm no chump. My Raptors will ravage you. Kill Megazeller. Stop that. <laughs> Monster now. <laughs> Rex Raptor. And we got the Luster Soldier deck today, I guess. Oh yeah, I do remember we made quite a few decks on here, though. Oh man, the music is so good. Alright, Graceful Charity. Always a good start. Brain Control. Creature Swap. Wow. Good hand. Okay. I think we'll discard... I kind of want to use Ultimate Offering here. So let's discard... That Rex does use a few charts from what I remember. Let's discard... Brain control and tough choice. But I will discard. I'll just go ahead and discard this tornado. Don't really want to, but let's do that. Let's use. Let's actually summon giant rat in a giant. No, no, no. Let's summon Legion. I'll do the ultimate offering plays next turn. Because obviously I want to play Giant Germ in attack mode and give it to him a creature swap. Because that's just so funny. But uh, anyway, how you guys doing? Uh, today is ah me the source. Huh? Today is October twenty fourth, two thousand twenty two. As um, astute viewers can see at the bottom right of the screen, it is currently twelve fifty. I'm sorry, twelve twenty one at night. Feels pretty good. Uh, today was uh, there's obviously a good win and everything. It was a really nice day to get outside. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use the effect now. Okay, let's play giant germ. Okay, if we play it, we'll get two more giant germs. So let me summon do not start witch creature swap. It doesn't matter what he gives me because we can't switch its mode this turn. What do you give me? Oh, giant rat. That's actually kind of good, because it means he can't float this turn. And we'll use Ultimate Offering one more time. Man, 500 is so cheap to pay. Uh, ooh, actually, should I have done this? I just realized, well, I guess I can get into one more germ, but I can't get into both giant germs with, with this move. Uh, but that's okay. Um, going into just one is fine. So, go. Do not miss Valkyrie. Giant Germ, use your effects. Alright. And I can special summon another Giant Germ. Shuffle them up. Good. And what's the stat at? Um, points. Oh, it's only at 700? Sweet. Oh, no, 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 don't end the battle phase. But that means Giant Germ can tech it. Go, Infestation Melts! But yeah, I know we were registering a few people, and also, like, I did some duels, um, kind of, um, with the HDMI, from what I remember. Um, but I think we'll, we'll, we're gonna basically do a mix of both. I'm gonna both try to, like, kind of try to find a Shizu, and try to register people at the same time. We're just basically gonna, we're not really gonna focus on one remotely or the other, I think. I, I don't know, maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do things a little bit differently. Maybe I'll even, like, stream. when I Because I do want to register everybody. I think I've said that before. That 
maybe I'll like stream when I just want to grind and register people. Or maybe I'll like continue to do what I was doing and put like a bunch of the grinding parts on the HDMI recording device and just kind of do like, you know what I mean, do a little of that in between, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I guess we'll flip up his giant rats. And we have won this turn, so. Alright. GG, Rex. Go, Lashie. My wish is your command, and I command you to rid that dino. Ha! <laughs> what destroyed the dinosaurs? Lashie. Oh, can we get exactly zero? I didn't even think about that. Um. I don't think so. just gonna be like a hundred points off from exactly zero uh oh by the way yeah check out that picture i put up um you know next to the emulator i mean the uh, uh soldier boy game console <laughs> for today's but yeah that looks pretty cool huh that's from uh duelist kingdom when like uh bakura uses millennium ring to ah i float use my millennium item to switch everyone's bodies into their favorite car <laughs> Yeah, that was from that. That, that was just like kind of a fun, like, one-off episode for Duelist Kingdom. <laughs> but it was, it was funny. Joey actually had some pretty good action with that duel. Yeah, because, like, there was that one part where, like, the Kerr had man Eater Bug, and, like, he told Yugi, you know, a big Yugi, Yami Yugi, he had man Eater Bug. And Joey's like, use your trap, use your trap card with me, you. I'll save everybody. Uh, that was a good moment for Joey. Yeah. But then they, they all woke up and they, like, thought it was a dream or whatever, which is t total BS. But then, like, they some of them, like, remembered it later, you know? So, it's like, ah, my Millennium Ring has the convenient power to wipe the memory. Oh, no, it's Rebecca. Well, this might be the last duel of the episode. I don't know. I know s some duels against her go long. Teddy, isn't it great to find duels all over the city? Huh? You want to duel me? Fine with me. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, Lesser Soldier, yeah. Hopefully she won't get gravity mine, but you all know she'll get gravity mine. You know, it's just it's just the way it goes, but um now from what I remember, I can make the screen yeah, slightly bigger from what I remember. Yeah, so let's do that. And I'll try to like because I, I know it this way, like I can't see the bottom screen really well, but you almost don't need to see the bottom screen. I remember like doing this um, and kind of getting used to it. Okay, so we'll activate DDC, different dimension capsule, and we want Pot of Greed wherever that's at. Ooh, Deck Devastation Virus. This would be kind of good considering I have Spirit Reaper. Now let's take this Crush Card. Actually, changed my mind there. Normally I take Pot of Greed, but I think. Yeah, with her, I'm actually gonna set Spirit Reaper. Now let's get aggressive in case she has traps. Let's uh, summon Legend for sure. A M B. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's good to be back, and we'll just end the turn with that. Mostly monsters in this hand. Ah, uh, uh, well, I guess that's it for First Card Virus. She doesn't have to worry about that this turn. Interesting. Probably a couple traps, yeah. Oh, just one. Okay. All right. Solid wishes. Okay, well, we know it's not gravity bind, so it's probably best to get aggressive now. Uh, what'd she throw away here in her graveyard? I'm just curious. Did she throw away Magician of Faith and Injection Fairy Lily. Glad to see that card go. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and just summon... Um, I guess I can summon x -Ed Cannon. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do, is like, while she doesn't have gravity bind now, Go ahead and summon the level fours and attack with them as much as possible. So, yep, because she does like level them in area B and uh, gravity bind. She loves her stall strategies for sure. So you just gotta be ready for that. You know, your deck's gotta have a healthy mix of you know spell and trap removal and like different levels. You know, in case you can't draw into it. That's why I like magical hat and uh, white magical hat and like spirit reaper and stuff for good. Just in case. And like cards with good effects, like Tribe Infecting Virus. That way you can destroy her monsters even if you can't attack. Ooh, copycat, it's gonna copy my stats. But yeah, you do have to watch out for that card because that card can attack under Gravity Vine. 
Now that card's a spellcaster, right? From what I remember, let's check. Yes, spellcaster, okay. So I think I'll go with Shrive Infecting Virus. And like, I always do this when I use its effect, but let me just make sure. Yeah, let me make sure when I use its effect here. Um, yeah, so activate. Because you do have to like hit it very specifically. Uh, let's discard. Size now, and now battle phase, battle fox. That uh, tribe infecting virus looks kind of cool. How it's just spinning, spinning right round, right round like a record. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, and go. Lachian, flamethrower attack. All right, and go. X head cannon, double cannon, barrel blast. And we got her really low, so if she does play a stall card now, you know, we're still looking pretty good. Oh, I think I went to main phase too. Okay, end phase. There we go. Alright, let's see what you got, Rebecca. I think she has, like, lightning vortex too, so watch out for that. But there's really no getting away, getting around that, you know. The best thing to do is to be aggressive. Ooh, a trap card, okay. What was that? It's, like, slowing down. The frame rate... Okay, we're good. Okay, I think what I'll do here is once again use Tribe. I'll declare uh, Pyro, that's our type there. So let's discard... I don't think we'll need Exit Cannon. Declare Pyro. There we go. And just in case she has like a Mirror Force or something, I'll switch Exit Cannon to Defense. And um, I'll switch Tribe to Defense as well. And we'll just try to attack with just Lejean and see what happens. What? Is this the end of the duel? Oh, oh, she has scapegoat. Yeah, that's right. She does love scapegoat too. But the good part about that, the good part about that, is like um, I'm actually not even gonna attack one of the scapegoat. All, all we have to do to clear the scapegoat is declare a beast, beast type with a uh, tribe infecting virus. So I think I'll discard Night Assailant. And we'll declare beast, and all the scapegoats will be gone. Bye bye. Boom. 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 Now, at the same time, I did leave my monsters in defense that I want to use. Um, but honestly, I think we're in a good shape here. I could play swords to protect them, but I don't think I will. I think I'll just, you know, if she wants to get aggressive and attack them, I think I'll be fine. So, let's see what she's got. Yeah, she does have 2,000 life points now. Just a monster face down. Okay, see, that's more like it. Okay. Now let me make it max view again so I can make sure and switch my monsters to attack mode. Because I'm not really used to doing that. Yeah, see, I probably would hit the activate thing on <laughs> on uh, on tribe there. Alright, let's hope this isn't a 2,000 defender. Because if not, we just won the duel, so... And I'll leave it in big view here, because if we win, yeah, that way you guys can see the points. The KCP, so. Double cannon beer blast! Very good. We'll use white magical hat to discard a random card. Alright, yeah, because I couldn't have got exactly zero anyway, so. Alright. And you got rid of... Good thing I have two monsters to attack. Man. Well, I guess that'll teach me. Like, yeah, don't go sniping random cards from people's hand at this point. If you can finish them off, just finish them off. <laughs> Man, I would have been really upset at myself if she somehow used that effect to gain just enough life points. And then she, like, played gravity by next turn. say Rebecca. Oh no, what should I do, Teddy? We lost. Alright. And let's see who else we can do here. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, what time are we at? Um, no, I think we can do one more. That duel against Rebecca actually went fairly quick, so I think we do have time for one more. And it's just Esperoba. 
The cosmic energies have already declared me the winner, Wheeler! Oh no! If Jinzo attacks Reflect Bounder, it's all over for me! Alright. It looks like we'll be going first. Ha! Looks like I'm the one with ESP, brother. Now let's duel. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh man, this music is so... Oh, I love it, I love it. Ooh, two Night of Salem. Ooh, maybe I can show you guys the infamous Night of Salem loop in the school. I don't know, maybe. Well, we got Grave Robber. Everybody has Pot of Green. Tell you what, since we do have the Night of Salem loop, let me go ahead and set this. And I'll set. And I'll activate uh, Stray Lambs. That way, next turn, we can fight his monster, Jinzo. Ah, that's funny. Alright. Your turn, Robo. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Play Fiend Mega Cyber first turn? I doubt it. Alright, just Cyber Raider. Cyber Raider. Sailing, stealth, slash. <laughs> All right, and now we have one night sailor in the graveyard. Very good. Let's see. Ooh, giant, I almost like giant germ more because when it gets destroyed, we'll get two more giant germs. So, and the more monsters we have on the field, the better. Kill giant germ. Attack him directly. Infestation of madness. That's right, Roba. Didn't see that coming, did ya? Otherwise, you would have had a trap card ready with your ESP. Ta da! The new Jory Gentleman. That's one of his signature monsters. Well, in this game. I don't think he ever played that in the anime, but, you know. They gotta give him some cards. They gotta have 40 cards in this guy's deck. That's where Roba's honestly, like, probably one of the people I'd recommend taking on the most. You know, if, especially if you're not used to this game, like. He just seems incredibly easy, for whatever reason. And like, even some some of his cards will even give you life points, like if he plays Eye of Truth. So, yeah. Heavy Storm is good, but we don't need it right now. Let's just sacrifice a sheep token. I'm sorry, a lamb token. Reveal Jinzo! Alright. He's here, guys. Cool old Jinzo. Go, Jinzo. Cyber Energy Shock. Oh, man, I'm just saying that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, giant chair. Infestation mess. All right. Go, giant germ number two. Contagion mess. <laughs> What are you gonna do, Esperoba? We got you on the ropes, bro. Man, if I had a United We Stand there, we could have just won the game. That's crazy. Oh, you did finally draw the Fing Mega Cyber, but I knew you wouldn't draw it on your first turn. That's actually a good card, Roba. I'm proud of you. But you know what? You've made me proud. You actually tried to fight back, buddy. But it's no match against Jinzo. Da -da 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 -da. Take your 500. Take your 500 from Giant Germ. What do you got to set an extra monster? Okay. All right. Next head cannon. Good, good, good. I was about to say, we could use a little more offensive power here. All right. Go, Jinzo. Attack his reef. Like, is, uh, oh, sorry. Feed Mega Cyber. Cyber Energy Shock. <laughs> All right. Now, should I attack with Giant Germ? He does have some weak cards, like Hero Shadow Scout. Eh, you know what? I feel a little risky. Giant Germ, attack! Ha! Oh! Oh, who's the one with ESP now, Esmeralda? It's me! My Millennium I saw right through that play. So, we draw a Dunamis Storm, which, oh, we have to discard Grace of Charity, that sucks. But we do get Dust Tornado. But we can't fight Dust Tornado right now, because Jinzo. Alright, go! Exit cannon, double cannon, barrel blast. All right. Looks like you're going down next turn, Roba. <laughs> that man, I had the read on that hero shadow scout though. <laughs> like, I was just like, you know what? He does have some weak flip effect monsters. <laughs> like, bro. Oh, well, I didn't get to show off the Night of Satan loot, but basically, since we drew both and had one in the graveyard, like if I had 
with some card that was like using discard effects, uh, you know, we could have basically kept taking the Night of Salem back. Cyber Energy Shock! Well, that's how the like Night of Salem loop works. And it's basically like kind of broken at three copies because it's basically infinite discard fodder and you can easily search it out with Sangian. So that's why it was limited to one for like a really, 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 really long time because of that loop, you know. It's just a little too overpowered. Show you guys the points from this. 90 points. No trap card, tribute summon bonus. All right, we get up to 38.43. I lost. This one be good for my reputation. No, no, it will not. Okay, guys, well, I think that's actually going to be the end of this episode. Uh, in between episodes, I'm going to just click on the home icon and head back home and save. But uh, I want to thank you guys uh, so much for joining me. And I will see you all next time.